Hello, and let's get started with exercise five, and let's talk about our HTML structure first. So as I mentioned in the previous video, I tend to start out with a sketch. I'm going to do my best to create this layout here, this sketch layout, and I might borrow a little bit from one of the other sketches, but pretty much this will be my focus for um, for my example for this exercise. Now, where I go first is I create my wireframe. And wireframes can be very, very technical. They can be very, very detailed. I'm just starting out by, I'm just going to start out by blocking out the, the space that is going, or the elements which are going to hold the, uh, the content, okay? So this particular layout is going to start with a div, which will be our container. And then I'm just going to give these numbers so we can, you know, visually see what's what. All right, so again, number one is going to be our div. And I'll, I'll use a class.container to uh, target this element. And this div is going to be the parent that holds all the other um, elements, okay? So we're just gonna start, now we're gonna go to number two right here. This is going to be our header, and the header will be this type right here that I'm circling, okay? Then number three is going to be our main element, and the main element is going to hold, okay, so the main element will be right here, okay? And that main element is going to hold, I'm going to use this, a background graphic, which is sort of this ribbony shape right here. And then I'm going to, and that will, and then uh, number seven will be this rocket. So this is gonna be a separate element, but this rocket, will be a, a child element to, to main, okay? And then number eight is a section. So number eight here, that will be this text. So where I'm going is I'm going to have an element, which is main. Main is going to hold a graphic, which is this ribbon shape. Then we're going to have, I believe, a div that's going to hold the rocket. And then we're going to have a section that's going to hold the text. And then we're going to have separate divs, one uh, in each of, and there's gonna be three different divs. And one div will hold this planet, a second div this planet, a third div this planet, and then we will have our footer at the bottom, okay? So you can see I have the container, I have the header, Number three here is main. Main is holding divs uh, number seven here. And then also this section, which is number eight. And then number nine will be our footer. So if we go over and we take a look at our HTML structure, here is our div, which is our container. And you can see our div opens and then closes down here. In the div, we have our header, then we have our main element. The main element is holding the div, and I'm going to use class rocket, and that this is going to hold that rocket um, graphic. And then we're going to use section number eight. This section will hold our lyrics, and then you'll see that the main element closes. Now we have our planets, and I'm going to work with absolute position on the planet. So my div for the container will be relative position, the header will be relative, main will be relative, and then div and section will also be relative position. Div for planet one, planet two, and planet three are going to be absolutely positioned because I want those elements to um, go to specific corners or specific places within that container, okay? 
And then our last is our footer, and our footer will also be relatively positioned. And as you can see, it'll be down here at the bottom. So use your sketch, or I really um, encourage you to create a sketch that loosely helps you visualize your layout. Then examine your sketch and start thinking about the elements, which HTML elements and which um, semantic HTML elements will you use to contain the, the main shapes, the main content areas, the main graphics within your layout. I find going through that process really helps you um, create and, uh, 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 and understand how the elements um, lay out and how they relate to one another. So create your sketch, sort of deconstruct your sketch into your wireframe or your, your content areas, and then use your wireframe to help you actually write your HTML structure.